of Kellen plays outward. And last time I made it to the heroic kingdom of Levant, bought some skills, and now I'm wandering around the desert. This is a casual sort of let's play style of thing. Um, I'm aware that my sound is a bit dodgy. I am a strictly amateur streamer and I do not have good kit. Also, I kind of dropped the receiver for my ears. Sound check did that. So, yeah, I kind of dropped the receiver for the ears. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, as usual, I can't see the chat while I'm playing. I might pop out and check it occasionally, but I can't actually see it. This is not my first time playing Outward, but what I want to do is show off this game that I love and why I love it and hopefully get people to realise that it's not as punishing as it might first seem. You do not have to be some kind of super gamer with a love of punishment to get enjoyment out of this. That said, it is a bit of a specific niche, I think is the is the way I'd put it. But a lot of the complaints that I've seen about it from people who didn't like it are in a way misunderstanding aspects of the game. I'll probably repeat things I've said in previous videos because frankly I do not have an audience so anybody who shows up isn't going to know what I've said before. Um, and the one thing that I am doing here is I've made a little self-imposed rule where I'm not buying items. The only exception to the buying items, I'll buy gold bars because they're a way to carry money around and anti-corruption items I think are just a bit expense. Other than that, oh yeah I was in the middle of the desert wasn't I? Hello, middle of the desert. Yeah, other than that, I'm saving my money for skills and things, which, you know, that's, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to spend my money on. Last time I killed some of those things, but that one is not dead. That one is very alive, and I have regrets. Right, I'm wearing a backpack that means I don't need... Ah, shoot. Do not, people, hold the wrong button. That's the crouch button, not the run button. Yeah, pressing the wrong button doesn't help. It's been a week since I played this game, so my button scores are rusty. So I'm going to run away. If I run far enough, it will leave me alone. Still chasing? I think it got bored. I've still got combat music, but I think it got bored. Right, here's some I killed earlier. So I'm kind of tempted to explore the Undercity Passage. See what's going on there. That's a good idea. Ooh, I should pop back up into the city actually, because that water skin's a bit empty. So, what are the rules? So rules. What one, one of the things to remember in this game is that if you get caught by surprise like I just was, it's much more likely to go badly for you. Which is why I ran away. Because running away is a legitimate strategy. There's another one I killed earlier over there. I've got, I've got bolt rags, poison rags, 
Osborne talk. Egg. Hmm. All right. I am going to take a moment to just appreciate how absolutely gorgeous it is out here. So this up here is the, this is like the travelling merchant and will pop up in specific locations around the map. But if you look, so this game does not have triple A graphics but it's got some very pretty art. So behind me is the city of Levant. There's the moon with its weird shattered things going on around it. This game's got a bit of a post-apocalyptic Magitech vibe, but it's cool. Skybox is beautiful. And then just... Yeah. So there's some giant hive stuff going on over there. That over there is a vigil pylon. And that looks like some Cabal of Winds business back there, so I might check that out. Pick up the wind totem for this region. Greetings, friend. But have I got anything to sell specifically? Nope. Yeah, I don't need bullets. I probably don't need rubies. Oh, you've got rubies. Yeah, there's a lot happening there. Just going to trade some things with the trader. Bandage myself up to get that help back there. So, I've kind of fallen into my usual play style here where I am very lightly armoured. And the thing about being lightly armoured is I need to really plan my fights and not just stumble onto them. You could play this game heavy armour, big old shields, and then you probably wouldn't have so much of a problem with a piece of the ground springing up and attacking you. But that is not how I roll, apparently. So, I'm just going to run back in here. So, each of the regions has its own hub city. This is Levant, it's the little, it's the sort of hub city capital of, of the desert region. And, got very refined music. This is the good part of town. There's a slums as well. Because this is the individualist capitalist hellscape. I, I say this, like, there's, you know, this, this game is equal opportunities on, on uh, <laughs> its hellscapes. Right. Make that. We'll make that. Engine paste is very useful. clean water. So what I've done here is I've actually set up a little camp basically. And what you do is you you go you go into a town and you just sort of find a good spot. 
preferably near a water source. Put down a tent. That's what that big plant over there is, actually. That's my tent. Um, yeah. Put down a tent, put down some campfires. What I've got here is I've got, I've got this nice big backpack that I found. And I can combine the big backpack with... Sorry. Yeah, I combine big backpack with um, small backpack. So the bigger one can hold more stuff easily. So I've used that to travel to a different area. And then I'm using the smaller one for my explorations within that area. Grab the fire rag and the needle tea and that alpha jerk is not going to last forever is it? Let's grab another three of them. That's trap trap stuff. I've got six traps and six sets of spikes. Alpha jerky. I shouldn't really need that while I've got the alpha jerky, but I'll bring it with me in case. Okay, is there anything else that I really want to make sure I've got with me? Let's grab another life potion mm. and use one of them to get that stamina there but I think oh pungent paste definitely bring the pungent paste why oh, have I got so much wood I don't need that much wood. Why this? Anyway. So, yeah, I can use the plant tent for sort of resting and sleeping and things like that, which I might actually want to stop off and do some repairs. Yeah, let's do some repairs till morning, eh? Let's pack all in this plant tent. In a few hours doing repairs to my gear. So the plant tent is one where once you put it down you can't pick it up again and inside the cities the things that you put down and, and pick up like that don't reset so you know I put the fire down and things they're not gonna go away unless the game updates to change that. There we go, looking good. So this stuff should be fine where it is. It is a bit ridiculous that I can just leave this backpack lying here with 13 gold ingots in it. But you know what? I'm not going to look that gift horse in the mouth. I'm going to drink this water. And eat this jerky. And actually, there's one more thing I'm going to grab. And it's this mineral tea because that restores burnt health. Other than that, a pretty good nick. Um, so the backpack that I'm wearing at the moment is one I crafted. I made. Uh, you start with the recipe for like a really basic satchel, which is the worst backpack in the game, and I was using that for ages until I managed to get three scaly hide and then I combined the three scaly hide with the satchel to make the scaled backpack which is one of the better ones um it's not got it's not got like an unusually high storage capacity but you can roll while wearing it which is a pretty rare trait 
there's actually a further improvement to it that I'll eventually be able to show you that came along with the sort of Orient expansion. Um, but I can't do that yet. So for now, let's see, I've had a drink of water, but I just want to keep an eye on my temperature as I head out. Because obviously there's it hot. There's it hot. A phrase I just said. But yeah, gonna just jog on out. So because I tend towards this kind of lightly armoured, please don't surprise me, build, I tend to find the desert a little bit easier as areas go because I can see around me. Obviously that's not always a help, see also getting sat on by a really angry bug disguised as a pile of rocks multiple times, but in terms of general danger from the environment, I find this a lot easier than the swamp. That, however, is me and my playstyle. If you wear heavy armour, then you are likely to find the desert a lot tougher because the temperature effects mean you're probably going to have to take your heavy armour off and run around wearing something a lot lighter. Personally, like, as soon as I found this outfit, I was in love with it. It's um, the Master Trader gear, which in this case I got from a, a friendly immaculate. Um, and it increases my speed and gives me more space to store things in my pockets. Right, so it's arrows. A Tyrannosaur mask, which reduces stamina cost, improves resistance. That's nice. Cactus pie pops against the heat and a cooking pot. Take all that. And I'm gonna do a comparison between my hat and this mask. Mask better resistances including corruption resistance, nice. Impact resistance is less. Stamina cost reduction is better. Doesn't give me that damage bonus but all things considered try putting it on and see how I feel. I think I'll hang on to it. And I'm getting warm, so let's eat the cactus pie. Check my vitals. I'm good. I'm fine. I might get a little tired soon, but all that means is I'll start regenerating mana. Also some other stuff, but who cares? Cactus and salt, excellent. So yeah, we're just sort of going exploring now. Something moving out there. See what it is. Oh, I know what those are. Ooh. Those are things I prefer to deal with using arrows wherever possible. Let's give them a crack. Okay, so let's check our current effects. That stuff's all up. So let's eat that. So the nice thing about being able to roll in this backpack is that I don't have to take it off for combat, which is a huge advantage. Said, I 
think I forgot to drink my water properly. I should do that. Always drink water before combat. Do not do what I just did because you will have regrets. Like the number one thing I keep forgetting is drink water before fight. And I really shouldn't, it's super important. Okay, this goes pretty slow. So you can see I've developed the tired status there. So this goes some kind of walking hive. Um, walking hive monsters are honestly not too much of a problem if you're using a bow and arrow. Like they might eat a lot of arrows, but if you can keep them at a reasonable distance, what you do not want to do is uh, get caught in their cloud of angry bees basically there we go oh no Go away, cloud of angry bees. So, yeah, the main challenge is, as you see, outrunning the angry bees. Other than that, Hive Lord, this one apparently. So I can get petrified wood, cult remains, smoke root, ochre spice beetle, and a couple of my arrows back. So, yeah, Hive Lord. Take a closer look now, and you can see kind of got woods, bee like bits. It's a it's a big shambly wood bee monster. So the other one's going to be a walking hive. Turn a bit closer. Let's just check. Is it going to hack up? almost out and says so the water so we'll drink another drink of water and eat another like that and I'm actually going to go on my skills and cast a cool boom to help keep myself cool in the desert and then I'm going to miss with my first arrow Walking. Come on. Shooting at things from a distance is hard. Try and get it. Got it. There we go. So then it starts running towards me, which makes it actually quite a bit easier to hit. Okay, I really need to stop pressing Q instead of W. It's not helping me. This one should hopefully go down a bit faster than the Hive Lord. Yep, yeah, there we go. back to town for more arrows at this rate. So in the walking hive, arrow tattered with a cult remains. And that's basically a skeleton infected by evil bees. Here we 
it doesn't love a skeleton infected by evil bees. Okay, tattered hood, not much use to me. I'm going to deconstruct it on the spot to make some linen cloth. And we're going to veer off towards this garden looking place here. If it's talking about um, arrows, I happen to know there's some enemies over here that arrows will be less useful against. Not useless, just less useful. Bird there. Oh yeah, I also decided, to, that's right, I decided to um, allow myself to buy recipes as well. It's not that different than buying skills. Well, that's definitely one of those there, and I'm just going to scoot away because it's getting in a fight with a golem. So I'm just going to wait till I'm going to let that play out, and then I'm going to fight the winner. And we are. Let's have some tea, restore some stamina, and cool myself down again. So that purple suggests um, an ethereal damage type. Stamina recovery on, not weather defense on. Let's eat some alpha jerky. Because that'll give me the rage boom. arrow shot at this thing. Like this. Oh yeah, that's right. These things are okay. that's the discipline boom now. So thank you for that, you ugly bug. Okay, cool, because I've got Rage and Discipline up. I'm doing more physical damage now. I'm trying to get behind it if I can. Oh, I see the purple was a status effect because it's just put it on me. That's fine. Let's do some bandages. And get some dry mushroom bars, try and get some out health back. So the alpha jerky gives me the rage boon as well as um Spikes and beast golem scraps. Nice. 
yeah, give me the rage boom as well as a health regen. I'm going to go carefully because this golems in here. And golems are better fought with the sword. But I've got raging discipline up right now. Hot weather defence is going down soon. Again, if I just keep an eye in the bottom left, then I should know what I have and haven't got. Iron spikes, iron scrap, pressure plates. Cool. Well, I bought the skill that lets me do pressure plate traps now. So I can hang on to them now. What I will do is deconstruct the palladium scraps. Not the spikes, sorry, into palladium scraps. But yeah, I need to run around a little bit to regenerate some of my health before I get in another fight because I'm not that daft. Here's the cool boom again. Um, let's run around with this ice flame torch for a bit. <laughs> let's see, get yeah, confused. I really want confusion to wear off as well. Let me just get to go. Oh, sleeping in the plant tent has improved my hot weather defence. That's good to know. Being tired is lowering my stamina regen, but giving me mana regen. So that's good. So stamina for me is as important, if not more important, than health in a fight. Um, again, this could vary depending on your playstyle, but it is always going to be an important stat. Right. Let's have some of that. I like that. Drink some needle tea. Help keep you cool. And eat a bit more alpha jerky. Okay. Right, so the other thing I'm going to do is the fire trap. The trip wire trap just here. Because you see that too, don't you? Yeah? You do. I'm going to stand over here. Hello, friend. Come back out. You're not done. Got the fun golems. Wee. rug on there. Come here. Come on. <laughs> For a spike trap. I want to try and get the timing right on these ones.
these are actually fast but predictable. Levant. And here we get to one of the things I like about this game, which is when you fail, you get knocked out and you wake up somewhere with all your stuff. And for some people that bugs them, right? But I think it might be. Oh, just kicked my bum. Rescued by passing burst three. Yeah, so I just got my butt kicked. I think I don't really want to fight that robot just now. Like, maybe another day? Sure. But I tried it out and it didn't go so hot. So I think it would be a good idea for me to try something else instead. And I can try something else instead. Like, I don't have to go back there to get my stuff. I have my stuff. It's right here. Um, I don't have anything sort of standing between me and... Just going and doing whatever now. It's like... Okay, I'll have to travel a bit to get somewhere else, but then that was always going to be true, whatever, wasn't it? But making myself some fresh arrows because I can. Okay, oh. hey, one pressure plate trap, so if I grab. Yeah, like it, it's easy enough for me to go back to what I was doing or I can change my mind and do something else. It's really no skin off my nose. Yeah. Tuck away some odds and ends. next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the plant tent again. Wait, first I need to check my... Okay, minus pick is worst off. So I'll equip that and then I will do... So one, two, three... Six hours of sleeping, three hours of repairing, that will take me into the middle of the night. So yeah, we'll bypass the place full of full of um, golems and go somewhere else because I have no need to go and do anything there. To repair them. And I think that's something people don't appreciate about this game. 
enough. It's, it's just that it, it's not a traditional way of doing things, I guess, for the computer game, but I like it. I don't have to load back to where I was and throw myself at the same problems over and over. Yeah, I'll bring that. Oh, I didn't drink the potion. Never mind. Mm. Love the background music in this game as well. So what I'll probably do is if I head out the direction I was looking at, over there towards the um, sort of wind cabal buildings, see if I can find the wind totem. Then I'll head back into Levant and we will take our first trip out to the Soliborians area. Because the skills number hills. And anti corruption potions, which I would really like to down some of. And things I can use to improve backpack further. And then, even more exciting, there's an expansion pack I haven't actually checked out yet that I have. So, we're not going to get to that this time, but for now, if I keep going this way, I think that's the... Oh no, that's salt, I think. mine it. I'm going to say no to some salt crystal. Hmm. Use bread. Got a couple of uses for bread. one I killed earlier. That's one I killed earlier. Yeah, we'll go back there later. Supply cash, arrows and bandages, more cactus, iron vein, good mining in the desert isn't there? stay up here and not go down there I think but you know thorough exploration what was that something's fighting I can hear it and I don't know where it is and that makes me nervous
oh, there's a safe rest spot just here by this bridge. Okay. Well, that's got to be over here, hasn't it? I'll mark it on my map. Again, no marker on the mini map for where I am. I just have to work it out. The walled garden, a cabal of wind tower, a bridge. Ball of wind stuff, a walled garden thing. This game is designed with landmarks. It is designed to let you navigate it. Oh yeah, I can see the twin platform from here. Excellent. Now I just got to get to it. A couple of angry flying sh magic sharks. Because of course there are. I hate those things, they do electrical. They're super unfriendly. Ugh. Don't know what's going on down there, but I don't like the look of it. I might have to fight some land sharks. I warn that I might get ambushed by land sharks, so we're gonna start with some food and drink. Okay. See if we can sneak past the land sharks. Like I say, these things tend to jump me a bit, so. If it looks like I'm gonna get a bit close, then I'm probably better off starting the fight. Myself in here. Ball of wind altar. The wind in the Abrasar region recognizes you and will obey if you command it. Oh, there's a lot of those sharks, isn't there? Okay, well. Okay, I'm going to shoot this one. I'm going to fight this specific shark. Should have picked up the blessed boon on it for, on myself first. Crescent shark is what they're called. And I hate them. They suck. Oh, thank you. Just gonna come over here and beat this chest. Oh, 
this might be the edge of the map here. 